everybody, it's itamog217. Welcome to a LEGO Star Wars Polybag unboxing and review. Tim, look at set number 40300, the Han Solo Mud Trooper. This is a polybag that contains 22 pieces, one minifigure, and released officially as a promotional item in October 1st till 14th of 2018, with purchases of $35 or more on Star Wars products. So let's crack this open and see what's inside. So unfortunately, with this kind of polybag, you do have to open it in a special way because, you know, it's fully sealed. So just taking the X-Acto knife and ever so carefully cutting along the top here. We'll be able to take out all the parts and have a look at what's inside. So for the first item we have is an inner bag containing all the brick built pieces and the minifigure, cool stuff. You do have the instructions, the backdrop, and a singular sticker for the plaque. Let's build this up and see how it looks. All right, here's the set all built up. Uh, it's pretty much your average uh, Lego Star Wars display stand poly bag. Uh, you have the sticker tile at the front, which is not my favorite thing about these display stands, but it is what it is. I think my copy's sticker was just barely cut properly because it's just bordering on the H there. Uh, but then again, this is quite a lot of words to put in a stickers for this size anyway uh the idea is you're supposed to buy all these other or i guess if you've earned them via gift with purchase says you could connect them all together uh with the other ones uh like so and have a little display going on because these are all exclusive figures and that's kind of how that would look and honestly having all four of these right here so far looks amazing but anyway um yeah you do have just a single display thing for the one minifigure that's included and you do have a backdrop for um i forget what the planet name is called that this takes place on but uh future me could edit in what that is but uh yeah no that's that's really cool backdrop i even got rid of my main issue with the backdrops uh and that was they used to have um the copyright stuff on the side of the uh backdrop as you guys can kind of see right here and they've kind of put it uh, underneath like i was suggesting in my other reviews for the older ones so it's kind of cool that they did go back and actually do that so to show you guys how that looks um uh, somewhat yeah they just put it right there like it, it's still there but it's nice and covered up basically out of the way because again if you're just playing this you want to be able to witness the backdrop you don't want to have to worry about oh copyright stuff on the back it kind of breaks the illusion of it Anyway, I've rambled on enough about this. It's simplistic of a build enough. Let's have a look at the minifigure up close. So getting a closer look at the minifigure, uh, you have Han Solo in his Imperial Mud Trooper outfit. Uh, now, there was a, another version uh, similar to this minifigure released for the Solo movie. Uh, this is just a muddied up version of that suit because that is what happens in the movie. He gets muddied up and whatnot. And uh, not a minifigure we needed, but still a cool one nonetheless to be an exclusive figure. Uh, all the parts on this figure are exclusive. Even the hairpiece currently is exclusive as the tennis recording. He does have a double-sided facial expression, which is really cool. Uh, I would say it'd be nice if he had a blaster at the very least, but I don't think if memory serves correctly from the movie, he had it because he did get captured and thrown into a prison to get eaten by Chewbacca. So, yeah, I don't know if I... I'm kind of on the fence on if he should have included a blaster or not. I mean, like, if you want to give him a blaster they're not too expensive anyway really cool minifigure nonetheless anyway let's move on to what else the set includes taking a quick look at the instructions you have the box art essentially and then just uh pretty simple straightforward instructions they're the exact same for any of the other uh display stand figures just you know with a different minifigure and backdrop and tile whatever but yeah they can all fold up into a nice little pamphlet if you want to take this with you on the go by any chance anyway in terms of extra parts this is all that i got in my copy of the set Overall, it's not that bad of a display stand. I like the backdrop. It's actually the way I prefer it. The only issue is they have that sticker being there. It should have been a printed tile. Minifigure looks great. Again, still on the fence. And if you should have come with a blaster. Uh, overall, great looking minifigure. Not one we needed, but it's still nice that we got it nonetheless. Which seems to be a trend with these display stands. Is uh, It's an exclusive figure that, you know, isn't needed, but still nice nonetheless. For a promotional poly bag nonetheless as well. So uh, if you're trying to get your hands on this in a sealed state, it's going to cost about 15 to 20 Canadian dollars as the time it's recording in a sealed state. So uh, it's 
pretty cheap compared to the other ones to get so i'd suggest picking it up like why not it's probably a good one to have on display yeah those are more or less my thoughts let me know yours in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this review hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel all that fun stuff anyway thank you everyone so much for watching and i'll see you all in a future video till then see you later bye